Today's video, again, shout out to 65 Creedmoor. It's the uh, 120 grain tipped triple shock by Barnes. My last video was on their 127 grain long range ones. And um, part of the, uh, the difference in them is the grain weight, the BC, and then these little relief cuts they have for the copper. There's three on these and two on the other, and the boat tail is a little different. Um, I had a little mishap with my camera, so I don't have that first high velocity shot uh, filmed going into the gel, but we do have a velocity on that of 2,554 feet per second. Perform real similar to the uh, long range ones, like I expected. You have your mushroom starting at just shy of the inch mark, from about the inch and a half mark to the almost 10 inch mark. You have uh, that decent uh, permanent wound cavity, it tapers down. And that permanent wound cavity runs to about the 13 inch mark, leading edge of that bullet, 28 and a quarter. Mushroom like a typical tripped. Tip to triple shock. Nice four pedals. Decent mushroom. Let me flip my box and shoot a low velocity load into this thing. from a little loss. See where we capture that bullet on the other side. That one was moving at 2,117 feet per second. Here's your bullet resting down here. The way the sun's hitting them gel blocks, it's a uh, might be a little difficult on camera to see the. Uh, permanent wound cavity but you have it starting just barely over an inch the leading edge of that bullet is at 29 and 3 8 a good portion of that permanent wound cavity runs from about that 2 inch mark till the 9 inch mark tapers down it's about the 12 inch mark and then pin lines the rest of the way. And we're just shy of three inches on the good portion of that permanent wound cavity. My high velocity load, I don't remember if I measured the uh, large portion of that permanent wound cavity. It's only about three and a quarter. So it performs fairly similar high and low velocity ranges. Yeah. 
and a decent mushroom blue tip stayed in there overall not terrible performing bullets but when you compare them to the videos I did on the 120 grain Nosler E-tips and the 120 grain Hornady GMX's both of those gave slightly larger permanent wound cavities without being excessive and that permanent wound cavity definitely ran a lot longer and also I started using these two extra scrap blocks to catch bullets because the GMX and the E-tip both penetrate better so cost analysis money wise although this bullet would perform well your GMX performed the best in gel and is the cheapest out of all of them so you know, take it for what it's worth You're, you'll be pleased with these if you hunt with them but I would uh, after testing your uh, major bullet manufacturers bullets in these copper similar grain weights if I was going to go lead free I would definitely go with the Hornady GMX.